Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be talking about peppering on your discus fish. Now this is something that is a natural phenomenon that takes place when your discus fish are basically trying to camouflage themselves for a variety of different reasons. We're going to talk about this a little bit today. Peppering can be something that uh, when you're buying an expensive fish like discus uh, that happens to them, it's a little bit disfiguring to some people and it's a very natural phenomenon that other people know about and accept. For those of you that know nothing about peppering and want to know and understand a little bit about it, when we come back we're going to talk about it. Hang in there with me, we'll be right back. So, as I said in the intro, peppering is a natural phenomenon that takes place in discus fish, uh, typically during their juvenile period when they're growing and uh, starting to grow out to uh, maybe their teen years or uh, what we would consider teen years in a discus fish, somewhere right around six to eight months. Now, basically, as I said in the intro, uh, peppering is a natural phenomenon that basically takes place because of a camouflage uh, um, phenomenon that uh, is natural to discus fish and uh, can sometimes happen in checkerboard, pigeon, and uh, even some light-skinned uh, facial areas on, uh, say, a um, red melon discus, a red cover discus, something like that. So these kind of pigmentation changes can happen to your discus fish, like I said, during that six to eight month period or even beyond. Now what can you do about peppering? Is there anything once it happens uh, that you can do? Is there anything you can do to prevent it from happening altogether? And is peppering a sign of a disease or a stress level in your fish that is unhealthy? And I want to answer all of those questions one at a time. First of all, let's talk about peppering in general. Uh, this can happen, like I said, to certain types of discus fish and is not in any way, shape, or form a sign that you have a fish that is unhealthy. Now, it can mean that there are some stress situations going on in your tank um, that can be more dangerous to the overall health of your fish. Peppering can just be a symptom of that, but the peppering itself is not dangerous to the fish. It is just a sign of a couple of different things. Number one, it is a natural thing for your discus fish to try to camouflage themselves whenever they can uh, to prevent themselves from being seen. Now, one of the um, the most common peppering situations can happen to discus fish that has nothing to do with health whatsoever, as I said. And this is uh, typically when you have darker backgrounds for the back of your tank. Uh, as you can see here in this particular tank, we have a dark background, but I have chosen discus fish basically that don't pepper. Um, and these are fish that either are guaranteed uh, not to pepper because they have been bred that way or they are the type of discus fish that just the pigmentation in itself doesn't allow for peppering to happen. So with the darker background, if you do not have fish like I have here that are not susceptible to peppering and you have, like I said, pigeon bloods, checkerboards, um, uh, red melons or red cover discus, sometimes uh, white um, uh, diamond discus, for example, can have these kinds of uh, peppering situations take place right around the facial area and sometimes around the fin areas all the way around the body. Now, this doesn't mean, as I said in the beginning of the video, that your fish is not healthy. Basically what it means is that because of the black background or perhaps a, 
or darker substrate, you can get into a situation where the discus will automatically try to turn on some kind of a camouflaging uh, phenomenon in their body that is going to give us that peppering look. Now, that is something that can be minimized by a couple of different things. If you're collecting these kinds of fish, uh, the pigeon bloods, the checkerboards, the red melons, uh, and, and all the other ones that I talked about, if you're really liking these particular kinds of fish and you're preparing your tank, what you want to do is make sure that you have a lighter background in the back part of your tank and also a lighter substrate, typically uh, a white sand, a beige sand, something like that, that is going to offer an opportunity for these fish to uh, try not to blend in because they're, they're not able uh, to lighten themselves up any more than they already are, but they're not going to darken themselves either. So one of the things that I would recommend, first of all, as I said, lighter background and also lighter substrate is going to make this peppering situation a lot less more prevalent in fish of these kinds. Again, if you don't want the lighter background and you don't want the lighter substrate, say you've got a fully planted tank and you have to have the darker substrate, my recommendation is to go with discus fish that are not going to have these pigmentation problems or the ability to camouflage themselves in the way that we're talking about with uh, the checkerboards and the pigeon bloods and so forth. Now, can peppering be a sign of disease? As I said in the beginning, I don't believe in everything I've ever read, nor have I ever ran into a situation where peppering has been a major concern to me about the health or the overall health, I should say, of your discus fish. Now the reason for that is, is peppering, as I said, is a natural phenomenon that takes place. And the one thing that it can be is an indicator of stress in the tank. And stress in the tank can be caused by several different things. Number one, mixing fish of various sizes, uh, where uh, smaller fish are being chased and the pecking order is being established. Some of these fish, if they are lighter pigmented skin, uh, uh, on their bodies and uh, they have the ability to do this peppering or camouflaging, they will tend to do that in stressful conditions. So what you want to do is make sure that when you're getting your discus fish, uh, as I've said in other videos, try to buy all of your discus fish the same size, number one, and number two, make sure that you put them all in at the same time. If you're putting two or three in and then you're putting three or four more in later on down the road, this can cause real problems in a tank that has already been established and now is being reestablished. And of course, at this point, uh, there's some stress that goes on. And when stress goes on like that, peppering is when uh, you can tell that your fish is a bit under stress. Now, the third thing, and one of the things that I get asked all the time, is it possible to reverse peppering? You can't completely reverse peppering once it has happened, but you can minimize it, and the body of the fish can actually lighten up enough to where you don't see it as much in certain lighting and that kind of thing. So what I would tell you is this. If you're in a situation where you're getting peppering in your fish, turn that stress level down. Again, buy all your fish at the same time, the same size, let that natural pecking order take place, but at the same time, make sure that you're getting those lighter backgrounds and lighter substrate, and also know that over a period of time, uh, the peppering itself, if you're using the right kind of lighting and substrate and backgrounds, uh, you can see less and less of the peppering um, uh, showing up on your fish. Now, this is something, like I said, that is not a cause for major concern in your discus fish. It's a bit unsightly. It uh, sometimes uh, really, really upsets people to see this happen, especially in a beautiful fish that they've paid a lot of money for, and they see this peppering taking place. 
it can be something that uh, is, of course, uh, you know, is unsightly. But again, it's not something that is going to indicate that you have unhealthy fish. What you, what you need to do, as I said, is to bring the stress level down, lighten up the backgrounds, the substrate, the back of the tank. All of these things are going to minimize the amount of peppering that goes on. Now, the fourth thing that I'm going to throw in here, simply because uh, somebody asked me this today, can diet be a problem if your uh, discus are peppering up? Can it be caused by diet? And the bottom line is the latest research and some of the research that I have been reading up on this before I even brought this video up is yes. Yes, peppering can be caused by inadequate diets. Inadequate meaning that you're not giving your discus fish uh, enough of a variety of foods, such as uh, some live foods, uh, possibly uh, like black worms, which are very hard to get these days, um, maybe frozen blood worms. Be careful not to feed your fish blood worms that you do not know where they're coming from. Hikari um, is a great place to buy, buy blood worms if you're going to get them. And uh, uh, again, this is a nice variety of food. Uh, make sure that you're feeding them pellets. Make sure that you're also feeding them flake foods that they will accept. All of these things can help minimize peppering and also bring down the stress level and bring out the beauty and the color of your discus fish. Now, the last thing I want to talk about before I close out this video is don't get upset when you see peppering going on because, it, like I said, it's very natural and it's something, as I said, if you follow some of the instructions that I've provided you with here, you can not only minimize it, but you can make sure you avoid it altogether by choosing the right fish. Now, if you have no choice about the color of the background, for example, this is an all-in-one tank, so the background's going to be black so that you can't see all the pumps and everything that are being um, sort of disguised behind or camouflaged, I should say, behind uh, the black background. And also, uh, if you have a planted aquarium, as I said, and you need that darker substrate because you're using a more... Um, soil type uh, substrate so that your plants will thrive. Uh, this is something that you need to consider as well. But if you're buying your discus fish and you're buying the varieties that don't pepper, there are actually, um, Watley discus, for example, has a uh, couple of yellow uh, varieties that are called never pepper or checkerboard uh, panda uh, discus that are absolutely beautiful. Number one, they're not albino, but what they do basically is they bred these fish so that the pigmentation in their body is guaranteed not to pepper. So these are options that you can also look into. So look around for that a little bit. If you're wanting certain fish in a color and you're worried about peppering, there are varieties that have uh, bred this sort of problem out. They're a little bit more expensive but it's really worth it if it's something that's really going to bother you. I apologize for my throat. I've been dealing with the flu here for over four weeks. That's why I haven't put out a lot of videos. And I appreciate you bearing with me today because I'm not able to talk very loud and you can hear the hoarseness in my voice. But thank you for joining me today. If you have any other questions about peppering, leave them in the comments down below and I will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Also, please like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends. Again, I appreciate you showing up today. Thank you so much. I hope I've answered some of your basic questions about peppering. And uh, if you want to read more about that, I'm going to leave some uh, information in the uh, description area where you can go and look at this a little bit more in depth and get a little bit more of an understanding of why peppering takes place. I think I've explained it pretty well here, but there's always new things to learn. So thanks again for joining me. We will see you on the next one. Until then, we're out of here.